All right, on the XR5000, if we are looking for a certain session, again, we start a new session each time we handle these animals. So if you look in View Sessions, um, the session that popped up that we were searching through uh, was done a couple years ago. This is a customer of ours. Quite a few head of cattle. There was 436 steers. He put that into the session name. It's a faster way to find the information. It will always show you the date as well. But this here shows you how many animals were handled in that session, what the average weight was, the heaviest animal, the lightest animal, total weight for that um, current session that, that we were looking at. The statistics button, that drops down and looks at based on this statistic, we're looking at weight, and this statistic can be changed to a variety of other things, but we are just looking at weight. Um, you can actually break it down and to look at the sire of those steers, which pen they ended up in, how many animals were in each pen, what percent that works out to based on the number of animals in the pen, how many percent came off of a certain sire, the average weight, the heaviest and lightest of each pen. So you can really start utilizing that to make some of these breeding decisions. You can tell here how some of these um, cross bulls were really adding some some heavy weights to those cattle. You know, 20% of that pen number nine ended up, uh, you know, 88 calves ended up in pen nine. Their average weight was 1,045. So, you know, the more information you capture in these scales, the more you're going to get out of it. Um, you can look at different statistics if you would like. You just change that. If you wanted to look at average daily gain, you know, it breaks it down that way too, which are gaining the most. Um, again, which animals ended up in which pair, or which pen, sorry. Session animals, this is where you can actually look at each individual critter. And you can just drop down and see some of these weights. Now these daily gains, this looks extremely high. This, the... What probably happened here is some initial weights were taken uh, and we didn't quite start a new session at the right time. So it's it's trying to figure out what it weighed last time based on what it weighs today. And that uh, could possibly skewer that da daily gain feature there. But uh, current weight is correct. That's how you would look in there if you wanted to search within that list. You can basically just type in an animal number and it'll drop down and give you one of the EID or visual ID tag numbers that probably contains the digits 365. So that's how it's doing its search. Um, if you want to look in another session, you can basically just hit all sessions and then use your arrow pad and work down. Maybe you want to open this session up. We want to view it. Again, it tells you how many animals were handled, average weight, maximum, minimum, what the total um, weight was handled that day, and it does show it on a graph as well. The options key lets you automatically go and start a new session from where you're working. Or maybe you want a shortcut back to your all animals list or the settings key that will allow you to, to further program this scale.